Hi everyone, welcome to another session of GCSE Maths. In this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to do simultaneous equations. So this would be our part one, and we're going to look at the elimination method. So, all right, so some basics about simultaneous equations. So if you have two equations and two unknowns, and then the rule of thumb is solve them simultaneously. So for example, we go two equation here. So 3m plus n equals to 11, and then we go 2m plus n equals to 8. So we go two linear equations, we can say, and then we go two unknowns. So we go m um, on this one, and we go n. For both equations, we go m and n, so which means we go two variables, m and m, m and n, and both of them are unknowns. Hence, we're going to solve them simultaneously. So, now, how we're going to do it is one of the unknowns will be removed from each, each equation. So, which means we'll have to eliminate one of the variables, either m or n, uh, from these two equations. And then point number two is the remaining unknown can be calculated. And point number three, however, coefficient of one of the letter has to be same in both equations. So I think if we look at an example, then uh, that should clarify. So here we got an example. Solve the following simultaneous equations. So we go 3m plus n equals to 11, 2m plus n equals to 8. So we go two equations, two unknowns, and then we can solve them simultaneously. So step number one, we need to identify which, un identify which unknown has same coefficient. So when I say coefficient, which means um, the number in front of the um, in front of the uh, letters here. Yeah. So we go, this is coefficient of m, which is three. And here there is nothing, which means uh, we have to imagine as one, which is just one n. Um, so identify which unknown has same coefficient. And then to make our life easier, so we can rewrite this equation uh, and we can identify this is our um, equation number one, and this will be our equation number two. So, in this case, we go uh, same coefficient, which is n. We go one and here, we go one and there. So, what we can do is we can subtract um, equation two from equation one to get rid of this n. So to eliminate this n. If we subtract equation 2 from equation 1, we'll get 3m minus 2m, which would be just 1m. And then we can cancel out uh, this n with this n. And 11 minus 8 is 3. So we'll get a fresh equation like this, m equals to 3. Yeah, as 3m minus 2m, which is just 1m. And then this n and this n cancel out. And then 11 minus 8 is only 3. So we go uh, bali for m is 3. Now we need to work out bali for n because we are looking for uh, these two values. So we can do substitute value of m to one of the equations to get the value of n. So in this case, we can substitute to equation 1, or you can substitute to equation 2. Um, it doesn't matter. So equation 1, which is 3m plus n equals to 11. So instead of m, we'll just put the value of m, which is 3. 
So that will be 3 times 3 plus n equals to 11. So 3 times 3 plus n equals to 11. So now we can, step 4, simplify and rearrange. So 3 times 3 which is 9 plus n equals to 11. So that is 9 plus n equals to 11. So now we need to get rid of this 9. And uh, to get rid of this 9, what we need to do is we need to subtract 9 on both sides of the equation. So, so 9 minus 9 plus n equals to 11 minus 9. So now we can cancel out this 9 with this 9. So that will be n equals to 11 minus 9, which is 2. So now our answers are m equals to 9. Um, sorry, m equals to 3. And then we go n equals to 2. So these are the two values for m and n. Now, step 5. So to check our answers, we can put both values into the original equations. So, so original equation was 3m plus n equals to 11, 2m plus n equals to 8. So instead of m, we can put 3 and instead of n, you can we can put 2. So, so 3 was 3m, so instead of m, we just put 3, and then plus 2, and then equals to 11. So if you can work this one out, so we'll have 9 plus 2 equals to 11, so which means 11 equals to 11. So the equation balances out, which means our answers for m and n is correct. So if we do same thing for the other equation, uh, which was 2m plus 2 equals to 8. So instead of instead of m, we'll just insert 3. And instead of n, we'll just insert, insert 2. So if we work out this equation again, so we'll have 2 times 3, which is 6 plus 2 equals to 8. 6 plus 2 is 8. So right side and left side of the equation is correct, which means our answers for M and N are correct. So yeah, so that's it from me. And uh, please feel free to ask any question uh, in the comment box. And uh, please subscribe for next video. Thank you for watching.